Hey kids, this is James, the non-professional, back with another episode of Draw Draw Draw. And today we're doing uh, Baby Thor. So here's the deal. Um, it's a new playlist with just basically a bunch of superheroes that are drawn in baby form. So the reason why I did this is because I have kids. And my kids want to draw comic books sometimes. They don't just want to draw cartoons. They love drawing cartoons, but they don't just want to draw cartoons. But the cartoons that I have on my YouTube channel are too complicated. So I thought I'd draw sort of a cartoony, sort of a comic-y version of, of the superheroes that they like. And, you know, I just ended up drawing them in baby form. So I did Thor, and later you'll see Spider-Man come out, uh, baby Spider-Man as well. So they are a little bit more complicated than your average cartoon, but they're a lot less complicated than the comic book figures that I draw in my uh, comic book playlist. They're still in the roughs. They're still going to be simple shapes, you know, circles and cylinders and oblong shapes, you know, easy to put together. When you get into lines, that's when things get a little bit more complicated than a cartoon is because there's a lot more detail and there's a lot more, you know, uh, texture and structure to the muscles. Uh, but hey, if you're tired of drawing, you know, cartoons, simple cartoons and you want to step up your game a little and do a little bit something uh, something a little bit more complicated and then um, try these things out as little baby superheroes is what they're going to be all right so we are in lines so let's let's make them tight and let's pin down some definitive details now the little feathers on the back there like i said a little bit more complicated you're not going to find something that intricately detailed his arms have like intricate detail on it as well uh, his hair is very intricate in detail but for the most part like his face is going to be simple just like a cartoon you know and his belly and you know his hands they're going to be simple like cartoons you're not going to see like the tiny little knuckles that you would on a comic book page all right let's dip into some inks and uh keep our lines super super tight all right so the scene that you're seeing here is little baby thor you know testing out his ability to bring his hammer to him although he's a little prepared to catch this thing he just got his arms over his chest and so just if you ever see the actual movie of thor he usually holds his hand out and hammer just sort of flies into his hand but not the case for this little kid here he'll learn the hard way all right so we're going to black out those pupils there and then we're going to get in a little racer and put two little dots for a little shine. So break out your stencils because I did use a lot of stencil in this. I used a stencil for his cheeks, stencil for his pupils and his eyes. And I used stencil for those little circle plates that are on his chest. I have no idea what they are. Just metal armor, I guess. Because he typically wears just like this sort of leather vest looking thing. I don't know, sleeveless shirt. Well, I don't know what, what you call those. And then, of course, his arms are... Or have this uh, metal scales all over him or metal sort of chain mail all over his arms and his legs all right so let's dip into some colors and uh, let's put in those outlines fill in the white spaces in between and unlike the cartoons that I typically draw the these baby superheroes are gonna have um, a little bit more complicated colors so uh, if you want a little bit more complicated colors, I want to understand colors a little bit more than just flat colors. Well, what flat colors are is just basically colors with no shading or highlighting at all. You're just drawing them flat. So I typically like to start out with flat colors when I color. So I color everything the flat color that they're supposed to be. And you know, brown for that little vest and that little, I don't know what that padding is. Uh, or that, you know, flap over there in the front of his place where his diaper typically would be. And then, of course, leather boots there. And everything that's metal is going to be a gray. And then we're going to go in and put some highlights and some shine, some uh, shadows on it to make it look more like metal. And, of course, the signature red cape that he wears. So the reason why you put highlights and the reason why you put shadows and you put uh, variations in color with regards to his outfit is because you want dimension. So the reason why they're called flat colors is because it looks like there's fl it's just flat. There's there's no roundedness. There's no dimension. There's nothing is actually popping out at you. 
uh, you know, obviously, if you have an object that has dimension, like a cube or uh, a sphere or a basketball, you're gonna you're not gonna see just a flat color all around that basketball. It's not gonna be just the same color brown brown all around it, because there's light on one side of that basketball, and so you're gonna have a darker brown on the opposite side of that basketball, and of course you're gonna have highlights where the light is shining on the basketball, and it makes the basketball look, you know, spherical. So we put some. You know, shadowing under his, you know, his arms and his, and we put some, you know, highlights on his metal there, and it makes it pop out a little more. All right, hope you guys learned a lot. Always remember your three P's: persistence, patience, perseverance. That's how you grow. Hey guys, if you like my content, please like or comment below. And if you want regular updates, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.